Welcome back to a new episode of 30 by 30 by Swathies. Today's episode number 11 and today's title is gonna be a clean title animation. Sort of like a clean title animation. And let's get started. So the first thing as always, we're gonna create a new fusion composition. And the first thing we're gonna create is a background node. And we're gonna connect it to the media out. And then selecting these background, we're gonna create a merge node, merge node. And then we're gonna create a, another background and connect it. And then copy and paste this. So we're gonna have two backgrounds. And then we're gonna connect this merge. We're gonna connect this merge to another merge afterwards. So let's just go by connecting it here for now so we can start working. So let's change the background of this one to a different color. Let's go green this time. And on these ones, we're gonna change the shape of this. So I'm not gonna make two. I'm gonna make only one for now because then we're gonna duplicate it. So the first thing as always is we're gonna have to create a mask and we're gonna take the solid out and make the border a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna shape it. Yeah, that looks like a square, I would say. It's not super perfect, but it's pretty fine. Okay, so next we're gonna create a mask. I'm just gonna create copy and paste this one and then make it solid. And then we're gonna subtract it. And then we're gonna move these to the bottom half of it. So let's make it dual screen so we can see this one. And then we can go here and we'll, we will be able to see better where the, where the middle is. So let's make this. So we're gonna adjust the size of this a little bit. So let's make it wider a little bit. That's pretty good. And I think we have that part. I think it's that's good for now. So the next thing would be, we're gonna go and we're gonna copy these and connect it to this merge right here. And this is gonna go on the opposite side. So let's select these so we can see it on screen. And then we're gonna go and use that as a reference to know where the middle is. I'd say that looks fine, I think. Let's, let's go back and see that there's no line in between. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we have that part ready. So we have basically the two parts of the square. Let me drink a little bit of my coffee here. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a transform node to both of these sections. Because animating each of those would can make things really complicated. So we're just gonna use a transform node. And that's gonna make it way less complicated. So we have this section, so then we can, so then when we move this transform node, it's gonna separate it, you see? Okay, so the next step would be to create our text node and we're gonna add a merge node to it also because we're gonna be copying this text and adding a copy of it. Okay, that's it. And let's rename these ones. So we press F2 and name top and then BOT from bottom. Okay, so we're gonna put Suave. Let's write Suave. Whoop. <clears throat> oh, I almost spilled on my coffee. Crap, that was close. <laughs> All right, and then visual is here. And we're not seeing it because we haven't connected it yet. So that's gonna create another merge. There's a lot of merge nodes in here. Okay, so we're gonna go up, Suave, and then visuals and we're gonna i had this one lighter but it doesn't have to be like you can do whatever looks best on your project you can make both of them be light let's make both lights in this time okay and then make this probably a little bit bigger i guess that's good then in order to be any able to animate we're gonna create another transform node to both of these texts so Actually, I have an idea. In order to make it even simpler, we're only gonna make 
We're gonna work with one of these transform nodes and then we're gonna copy and paste it on all of these. Um, so let's go to frame, let's say frame 22 is where the whole animation is gonna end. So the size, it's gonna end in 22. And before that, it's gonna go on number 12, it's gonna be zero. And then after that, we're gonna have a position keyframe also. And that's where what all of those have in common because then you have two of them that are gonna go up and two of them that are gonna go down. So we're gonna copy these and replace that one. So now if we animate it, we have all of that coming on instead of going one by one and doing it all of them. See, okay, so this is the top part. So after it becomes bigger, let's wait two frames and we're gonna create that position keyframe again. I should have done that in the first one, but let's do it there. And then we're gonna go, let's say one, two, three, four, five frames, and we're gonna move the bottom text. We can move these right now, but, can, but then we're gonna have to adjust it, the, the middle text later. So before we animate that opening section, I think it would be a good idea to simply just add that next section right now. So then we don't have to like try to guess, I would say. So main title, I guess if that's like, it will be, I don't know if it's your vlog or the name of the a documentary you're working on, you can do that. And then we're gonna make it light. It's a lot of light text in this one. And let's make tracking a little bit bigger, that. So the way that I had the animate the these text open up was with the mask. So it was basically just a mask and then it closed down and then it opened up at the same time. So, but before that, we're gonna animate this other portion. So we have that and we went five frames, 24 and we're gonna go to 29 and we're gonna take that top one and align it a little bit like that. And we're gonna do the same for the bottom one. That's interesting, a little black thing, but I guess that's because of the mask. So we have to make it a little bit wider. Yeah. So then we have that. And we have to also animate the text to move in the same direction to keep its position. And then we're doing with that second text. there I think it's fine or okay there and then the next thing is we're gonna animate the mask of these so we have to make it the width is fine but for that it's gonna end at 29 so at 29 it has to be open already so we're gonna create a keyframe there and that's the ending keyframe and then we're gonna go to 22 which is when the thing started to separate and we're gonna make it to zero so then it's gonna look like this one opens up when the thing is opening up. It seems to be a little bit faster. So what we can do is we're gonna select that and we're gonna make it open up a little bit later. So let's say there, that's when it's gonna start to open up. And then the next thing that we had was um, after a couple frames to start the ending of it, we went to, I think it was frame 50, we could do it. And we are going to add a new transform node to these because we want to move the whole thing at once. Oh, I messed up in something. I forgot. Before we do that, we actually have to make a new merge with these two and then add the transform. So how it's going to work is we can actually just let it be like that. Uh, we're gonna make a new merger right here like that and then we're gonna connect that merger to the transform node and this one doesn't need to be here so we're gonna take that out and these we can change now so we're gonna go back to zero and we said we started at 51 I think so we're gonna add the keyframe we're gonna go five frames we're gonna make it like the other one that we did it's gonna be minus 180 Okay, and at the same time that that did that, 
the mask also rotated. So we're gonna create an, an angle keyframe right here and then go to 56 and this one is gonna end up at 90 degrees, at minus 90 degrees, there. Then after two keyframes, I think I left, let's make two keyframes, I made all of these close down again. So we're gonna create a height keyframe and we're gonna go three keyframes and make it a zero. So we're gonna go back to the beginning and we're gonna create this transform and the position. We're gonna do the position of all of these four transform. And then we're gonna go three and we're gonna change this to 0.5. There. And then after that, what we had was here when it closed down, I added an angle keyframe and also a size keyframe. So then I went a couple frames, like let's go 69 and we're gonna move these all the way to 360, minus 360. So it completes the turn and it's gonna end at, at size zero. So let's see. One thing I forgot also was that when it was coming in, I also had added a keyframe for this. So let's see, I think it was in 22 that it ends. Yeah, it ends in 22. So we're gonna add an angle keyframe here at 22 and we're gonna go back here to when it's zero at 12 and we're gonna go to minus 90. Okay, so once we're in, in minus 90, let's check how that looks. All right, so then we can go to the spline tool and we can select all of it. We're gonna select all of these, whoops, why is it deselecting? That's weird. And we're gonna select all of these keyframes and we're gonna press F, make them a little bit smoother, I guess. And then we can also go to the motion blur section and add a motion blur to all of these. So make it 80. And the same for all of these. Okay, so then that's pretty much it. And then the, the other thing that I did was I, for the second one, I just changed the, the solid color here to a gradient. So then you can add whatever colors you want. Let's leave it gray and black. Okay, let's go and copy these. We're gonna go right here and paste settings. There it goes. So then when it moves, it's gonna have that same color on both sides. All right, so the last step, as always, we're gonna take the background out and we're gonna alpha it, alpha it, and then we can go back to our composition and drag that. So let's see the first two that I did. So this is the same as the other one, but I just added that gradient color change because I think it was gonna look a little bit cool, you know? So once this renders out, it should be ready. And that's pretty much it for this episode. If you wanna download the Fusion composition that I did, I'm gonna put a link in the description that you can download. And if you like the video, you can like it. And if you wanna see more, you can subscribe. So that was it for episode number 11 of the 30 by 30 series that I'm working on. And this was all brought to you by Suave. See you tomorrow.